Christ Church in Menlo Park may be thousands of kilometers apart, but the moderators who work here in California and more than 20 offices around the world deal each day in matters of life and death. No amount of people that we can hire will be enough to review all of the content. Last year, Facebook chief executive Mark Zuckerberg praised the artificial intelligence that makes Facebook safe, as well as the thousands of moderators. So what went wrong to allow the killing of 50 people to be broadcast on Facebook Live? Arguably, Facebook's AI has done exactly what it's supposed to do. All but 300,000 of the one and a half million shooting videos were blocked in the first 24 hours. But the system is not foolproof. Facebook's AI accepts footage published by what it deems trusted news channels. The algorithms are overruled and the videos can be published and shared again and again. New Zealand's Prime Minister says social media platforms must accept a greater responsibility. The fact that only 1.2 of those times has been automated tells me there of course are powers to take a very direct approach to instances of uh, speech that incites violence uh, or that incites hate. There's a lot of work that needs to be done. But should Facebook be commended for its efforts? Well, Tech Against Terrorism is a project launched by the UN Counterterrorism Committee, and it says, yes, it should. And that society and mainstream media outlets also need to ask themselves some very important questions. In terms of what Facebook has done, I think it's really commendable that they're able to stop one and a half million uploads. Uh, so that's essentially saying one and a half million people potentially try to re-upload that video. And I, I think there is an argument here that uh, there's only so much that technology can do if so many people are trying so hard to get terrorist content back onto the internet. Now, Facebook Live is another story. The moderators and machines clearly failed on several counts, according to an internal memo telling employees exactly what to look for, such as evidence of potential violence involving people, display or sound of guns or other weapons, screams, shouting, actual or threatened violence, and evidence of human despair, including crying, pleading, or begging. Now, some of New Zealand's biggest companies are deciding whether to pull their ads from Facebook because of the unmoderated content around the Christchurch shooting. And now the social media company faces additional pressure. But with more than two and a quarter billion users, Facebook is already regulating more speech than any government on Earth.